hello. Good afternoon. We are we are back. We got we got more packs as as always. How are we doing? Just make sure that we're working. Okay, that's that's fine. Good. I think, I think we are all good. Just a good sign. Um, that might be a bit loud. There we go. I'm perfect though. We uh, we have another box, obviously. Um, because because you can read. I think everything's good. We have we have another box. We have uh, more of these. Interestingly, um, although the box is supposed to only have 24 packs, it's actually 25. Uh, I don't know why that is, but uh, I guess we have 25 packs. I'm not complaining. One extra is one extra. You know what I mean? Um, so what we'll probably do is we'll probably open the first five and then we'll. Uh, We'll do some predictions for the ones after that because we, we have a lot to, to open. Uh, yeah, first thing I will show you is the list of everything we are looking for. We need 10 more cards. Obviously, we opened a box of these approximately a week ago. Um, I want to say it was, it was rough, roughly a week ago. It might have been a bit longer, a bit less, but yeah. Um, we need ten more cards from the uh, from the box. One of which is Behemoth, which is the uh, one of the legendaries, uh, of course. What else are we missing? Uh, well, any, anything that's on the list basically is what we're missing. Uh, I actually have all the tabs open here, so we can go through. You can see uh, we're missing Behemoth, as I said. We're missing. Uh, Lock, which it took us a while to get him in the um, in the other set, so it doesn't surprise me that we're, we're missing him in this one as well. Tian, who is a common that we somehow just never managed to get. Um, I don't know how we managed that, but yeah, it's the way it is. Uh, Defoe, who's another rare that we didn't get. Um, this card, which is supposedly one of the best cards in the game and really, really hard to get. So hopefully we can get that. Um, Kilfern, I think he's a rare. Um, again, Mets, it doesn't even say his rarity, so presumably he's a common. We'll find out if we get them, obviously, what rarity they actually are. Um, Earth Rift, which is a spell card that we're missing. And then two mission cards that we're missing. Um, which are always difficult to get because you can only get like one mission card per pack. Uh, so, yes, I will. Uh... Nice. Oh, that's, that's the one camera, I'm sure it's the right way up. Nice. Um, so I guess we can open five to begin with, and then we can do uh, the predictions for the other packs. Because there is, as I said, 25 instead of 24 for some for some strange reason. Um, so we'll open, we'll open the first five, and then we'll do predictions for the rest. What's up, Lozman? Yeah, we'll do, we'll do predictions for the... Uh, the others, but the first five I just want to open them normally. Um, let me just make sure. Yeah. I just want to make sure I get everything uh, in the right position, you know. As I said, we're looking for ten cards that we're missing, so the the prayer is that we actually manage to get them all. I would be very disappointed if we didn't. How am I doing? I'm doing all right. Um, been better. I mean, I, I didn't wake up till like 11 o'clock today, <laughs> which yeah, I just turned off my alarm. I was like, I'm just gonna try and get some sleep because I, uh, I mean, getting loads of sleep just been feeling tired. So uh, I decided to get a bunch of a bunch of sleep and slept until like 11, which usually I wake up at like nine. So clearly I was tired. Right, one, two, three, four. Obviously these packs you. Um, you don't get spoiled. You just take the, the card off the top, and the second to last is the uh, is the good card as always. 
We have Typhoon Bind, obviously in duplicate. We have The Professor, duplicate. Amit Heart Eater, duplicate. Another duplicate. I mean, there's only 10 we're missing, so it's unlikely we're going to get a new card uh, straight away, you know what I mean? I also don't have a ton of sleeves, so I might not be able to sleeve every card. Uh, this is the important card right here. It's Shinobi, uh, not a rare, and Dervish, who we got quite a few times last time. Although every time we got him last time, let's see if it's the same. Yeah, every time I've had this card look, his left side is always scuffed. I don't know if you can see that, or how well you can see it, but the left side of the card is scuffed as hell. There's probably a reason for that. Um, to do it the way they were made, but the left side is always really bad. Um, let me try and think which sleeves I want to use here. I think we're going to start with these ones. And then I need to use the big ones on the rare cards. We'll still sleeve all the rare cards, I've got enough to sleeve every rare card that we get, but um, we'll have to wait and see when it comes to the common cards. I, I haven't got a ton of sleeves for these guys, so I might not be able to sleeve all of them. I think I only have, uh, there's obviously about just over 200 cards, and I think I only have about 150 sleeves. So I'll just have to leave a few of them um, unsleeved, essentially. And then I'll sleep when the sleeves uh, arrive for some reason to take forever. So I'm going to sleep until 6.45 on Wednesday, so I slept, slept uh, at like 12 a.m. last night and woke up at 11 and I feel refreshed. Yeah, I went to bed, uh, um, it probably took me until like half past midnight to get to sleep. And I woke up at like 10 to 11 this morning, so... Late, but it is what it is. Alright, so pack number two. Um, I wouldn't say I feel massively refreshed, but I don't feel as tired as I did the past couple of days, so... It's, uh, it's a bit better. It's a slight improvement. I'm just happy they managed to make, somehow there was a mistake, I don't know whether it was the people who sent them or the people who made it, but there's 25 packs in the box and so 24, which is not normal. One, two, oh that's good, three, four. I hate the fact that the mission cards always get spoiled, but um, that's one I don't have, so at least I think it is, unless I'm dumb. I should move these off the screen so that it focuses on this easier. Come on. Come on. You got this. How difficult is it? There we go. It's a duplicate Tolivane and now it's unfocused. You're kidding me. What is it focused on? Right, it's a duplicate Tolivane. Antediluvian duplicate. Very cool card though. Ghost Trap, that's the card I was talking about that we needed. That is uh, that is one of ten. It's a good start already. Uh, Stone Stage, duplicate. Mercenary Recruit, duplicate. The Professor, duplicate. Suit, duplicate. This is the important card right here. Dante Vale, duplicate. Super rare, but really rare card. This is actually the third one of this guy I've got, so obviously not that rare. And the last card is Dead Calm Duplicate. Um, that is unfortunate, but we're 1 out of 10, I'm not complaining. Already we have a new card, so that's good. Good start. Uh, and then, oh I said the rares go in the bigger sleeves, didn't I? Yes, anything shiny goes in the big sleeve. Um, because I've just kind of decided that now. <laughs> I have uh, the perfect amount of big sleeves to put all the shinies in big sleeves. I've spent uh, quite a lot of time the past few days like reorganising everything basically into into different size sleeves and odd like it takes a while when you've got like a thousand duplicates and I have to order them all by number. Like there are some cards I have like ten of each of them. It's actually insane how many uh, how many I have giant stacks of cards in my room and they're all sleeved as well which is uh, which is interesting 
Right, that is uh, two down, three to go. We've got a nice uh, wind pack in Shakrit. What's up, OP? How you doing, man? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So uh, we'll be doing uh, predictions soon. I'm opening three more, and then we'll uh, we'll do predictions on the pack after that. Uh, oh, oh, what am I doing? I forgot to tick off uh, the card we got. So the first new card of the day is um, let me swap back. Big ghost trap. So let's tick that off the list here uh, as one of the new ones. I almost forgot. That would have been uh, that would have been bad. Anything good? I mean, we got Ghost Trap. Um, I got Dante, a duplicate Super I Dante. Um, I got a Dervish, and what else did I get on that other pack? Dead Calm, I think it was. So not nothing amazing yet, but it's only two packs, so we're fine. You want to save the good stuff for the last few, you know? One, two, three, four. So these ones are easy to to recycle uh, the cards because you just you just go until. Um, until like the, what's it called, the, I, I always call it the promo card, I don't know what you would really call it, but you know what I mean, the card that isn't a card. Dambala, Last Edge, Page Might, what's up King Basilisk, Sophie Casterwheel, we have Chain Gollum, I was having a bad Friday, you should remember, thank you OP man, I mean, uh, Natural enhancement. We do love a good pack opening, and uh, you know, so it's always fun to open these, even though they are like 10 years old. It's cool to see what we can get, you know. Thornment, and uh, hopefully your day gets better. Um, let's see what the next card is. This is the the potential for the good one. It's Hydrolash, which means it's not, obviously that's not a super rare card, uh, unfortunately. Still. Uh, Still pretty cool though. And the rare is Feo and Duplica. This is another one I had a bad problem with the back of this card. This one seems fine, so I might be able to put this one into my oh, but even still like look at the this set for some reason is really bad. You can't see it as well um, on the camera I don't think, but like the corners are really bad on these cards for some reason. And it seems to be just for this set as well, like, um, the second set that I opened, I checked the cards afterwards, and practically every card was perfect, but for some reason with this, this set in particular, I had a ton of cards that were really badly damaged um, on the back of them. Um, it was mostly just the hollows though, like the, the non hollows all seemed to be fine, but the hollow cards all have pretty bad uh, amounts of damage to them. I don't know why that is, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. Just got to put up with it. Sleeve all of these. I'm about to run out of sleeves, which is not good. As I said, I don't have enough for all the cards, so we'll see how it goes. Right, let's do pack three. Uh, so it's pack four, um, and we'll, we'll do a, a prediction after pack five. Since we got 25 packs instead of 24 for some, obviously some mistake with how many packs were in the box. I don't know why there was one extra, but it is what it is. I'm not going to complain. Uh, where did you find the download? I, know, I didn't download it. Okay, I just um, it's just on YouTube. I'm playing it, uh, playing it through YouTube. We just search like hunting. Um, I think it's called like hunting battle music or something. Right. We have journal pages duplicate. Uh, I said, camera, please don't do this to me again. Right, journal pages. Amit Heart Eater. Sophie Carsterville. Enderby. We have like a ton of this guy. Shinobi. Thornment. And number seven. No, this isn't the card. Never lost. It's the next card that has the potential. It's Ethan Lambert, that's actually really good. Super rare duplicate. And the final card is Kilfane, yes. Rare Kilfane card. Um, I forgot to say this off, did I, yeah. 
Look at that beautiful new card. You love to see it. It's a very, very nice card. That's so weird. I, I've never seen this, like I've never gotten this card before. But for some reason in my mind, I'm having like a memory of a dream where I got this card exactly like this, which is so strange to me. <clears throat> right, so let's add that to the pile. Let's tick it off the list uh, real quick. Number 42 or something, isn't it? 41. Kilfane, Zali's Titan. Right, and then let's uh, sleeve the rest of these real quick and just like that I'm out of sleeves. <laughs> oh, I need to sleep Ethan as well in a different sleeve. Oops. Uh, let me do these over here. Right, there's all the sleeves for that that type gone. Uh, I guess we just use the thick sleeves for everything. I won't have enough but I've got enough for now. Um, we we have one more pack and then I'll uh, I'll activate the predictions. That Ethan Lambert's good though, because uh, he's pretty hard to get card. Obviously, he's an ultra rare, so or not ultra rare, sorry, super rare. So uh, it's always good the more super rares you get, even if it is a duplicate. Right, that's those four sleeved. Pack number five, and then we will uh, start the predictions. We'll do basically exactly what we did last time, I think, where we'll do um, every five packs, we'll do a prediction. Uh, you can decide whether you want it to be. There's two ways we can do it. We can either do it, um, will I get a legendary card, or we can do it, will I get a, a new card that I don't already have. Um, it's up to you which, which way we do it though. Let's see what we've got in this pack. Page Might. We have Antediluvian, obviously. Cherit. We'd love to see it. Typhoon Bind. I still haven't got her, Tian. Not once. Seeker's Resolve. I'm pretty sure that's a good one. Terrapede. Apparently a really strong card. Sandstorm. Now's the potential. It's. Thrasher. And the final card is Defoe, let's go, another new card. Very nice, obviously only appears in season one, doesn't actually appear in season two. Um, and he gets rolled every time he appears and then he doesn't last very long. Very nice, number 19, let's, um, let's tick that off as well. We're hoping we can get Behemoth as well. If I only get one Legendary in this whole thing, and it's Behemoth, I'll be happy. I'm not going to lie. So that's three so far out of the ten we needed. Which is a very, very good start. Right, we'll do the prediction for... We'll do it for a Legendary, shall we? Will I get a Legendary in the next five packs? Let's start that. Feel free to put your points on, obviously. Um, at least one person has to go each way. If everyone goes one way, then it won't work. <laughs> because that's just the way math is. Uh, but yeah, you, you have to at least go two different ways. And we have, we have two minutes to do it, so uh, you've got plenty of time while I'm sleeving these. To make sure I always push them to the bottom as well because these sleeves are quite tall. Jeez, someone put 2k on no already. We haven't got any believers. Someone can go in no. Hey man, all I'm saying is there was three in the last box and we, we haven't had one so far in five packs. Oh, I just did something terrible. One second. I put the commons in with my with my rares. That's uh, not ideal. <laughs> I'm the no guy in this channel. <laughs> yeah, true. 
You're, you're always, he's always doubting Lewis. He's, uh, he's a big doubter. We're gonna have at least one person going yes. Whether it's whether you put on a lot of points or not, Lewis, you know. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Right, these are the five packs right here. That we have. You know, they might be legendary, they might not. We will uh, we'll say okay, we've got two people going uh, You know, you know this this ain't gonna work if you both go no. Someone has to go yes. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, it's about to end. I'm going to have to redo it. Okay. Right, let's try that again. You can't, bo you can't both pick the same one. <laughs> one person needs to go... At least one person needs to go yes. And at least one person needs to go no, okay? If you go the same one, it doesn't work. Because no one makes anything. Come on, Lewis. Put some points on, lad. Oh, wait, Lewis is mod. I can't, can't. There we go. Lewis, put some points on, lad. Get <laughs> some uh, bet 100k in yes, so I can get rich again. I don't think anyone has 100k. I think uh, Lewis has a lot. I'm trying to think. Yeah, Lewis has quite a bit. I think Deadwire has the most. He almost has 100k. Um, but he doesn't quite. Put some points on Lewis. Go on. I dare you. I unmonted you just so you could put some on. You're at 26k, well, even if you only put 100 on, put put something on, you know. Oh, Stan's gone on, on yes as well. Okay, so we got one, we got one on yes, one on no, and Lewis, who's, uh, who's a wuss. Um, right, which pack should we go with first? Let me see, I've got to wear the packs, obviously. Find out which is, uh, which has the legendary in. Ooh, this one's quite heavy. Okay. Obviously, we've got to open the legendary last. Oh, wow, Lewis has put 5k on there, yes, okay. Decent returns for the uh, for the two of you then. Right, so we have the first pack. Now that the... It's, yeah, it's over. Okay. Obviously, can't open it before, just in case uh, someone predicts after the pack has been opened and there's a legendary in it. Okay. Obviously, the one where, the main one we're looking for is Behemoth, but I'd, I'd take any legendary. I think they uh, they look the best in this set uh, out of uh, set two and because they're not in set one, they're only in set two and three. I think they look the best in uh, in this set, to be honest. Okay. One, two, three, four. Make sure we don't spoil it. First card, Dambala. Non rare, obviously. We've got Sabriel, Tolivane, Power Drain, that rhymed, Clone Mask, uh, Trap Feaster, very strong uh, card, 4 attack, 4 defense, Jesus. Jira Wolf, and the super rare slash common slash whatever it is, is. Never lost, unlucky, not the pack. Jakul. Um, which is a duplicate, of course. Is it? Uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of damage on the back as well. All the rares seem to have damage on the back in this in this box, which is yeah, it is what it is. Just gotta make sure I've got enough sleeves to sleeve all the rares, because obviously, if I don't sleeve a few of the commons, it's fine. But I have to sleeve every single rare, otherwise, that's just um, that's just abusive, really, isn't it? I've got an, one more pack with 80 sleeves in, and I've got 20 pack, well, 19 packs left. So, if there's at least one rare per pack, approximately one and a half, we'll say, and we need to sleeve them, then the math works out at about, we'll say 30. 
roughly. 30 is a good number. Um, sleeves that we have to save. Right, let's not ruin what's in it. This is the second pack, obviously. First one was uh, was not a legendary, otherwise the prediction would be over. Um, and it was not what you wanted. So Let's hope the second pack is what you want. Two, three, four, to the front. Let's get rid of the card. Let's flip. We have the Feezy, duplicate. Antidiluvian, duplicate. Amit Heart Eater. Come on. Block, block the numbers out. How is that not focusing? Like, it's the literal only thing on the screen. Come on. Work. Like, sometimes, I swear to God, look at this shit. How can you not focus on that? I guess we just open it. Okay, that works. Chill skin. Sandstorm. All spell cards. Scarlet. Hydra Lash. This is the, obviously the important one here. It's Kratok. Not ideal. I think it's just a common. And the last card, which is the rare, is Gybold. Duplicate. It's still a cool one to get, I guess. The more the merrier. Um, I mean, you're guaranteed a rare, so it was always going to be something, right? But I think that's the first time we've got him as a duplicate, so... It's always, it's always cool to get each one at least once. I mean, ideally, I'd, if I was to pick what I'd get in this box, it would be two behemoths and uh, an arachno, so that way I have two of every legendary. But Tau seems to love me, because I think I've gotten... Out of all the packs we've opened so far, I think I've gotten, like, five Taos. I should have, like, a, a Tau collection now. It's actually ridiculous how many tiles I've got. Is it five? It's either four or five. I've got a lot. A lot, a lot of tiles. Because I've got two just from this set alone. And I know I've got some from... Quite a few from the other set, from LGS. Right, this is pack number three of five, for those keeping count. Currently no... no I don't think we've had a super rare yet, have we? We've had commons in both packs. Which you could argue is good for the people who uh, who want there to be a legendary, because it's likely we, we get one. If we haven't had any super rares yet, because... I don't know, math. <coughs> Organised force. We still haven't had a Tian yet either, which is weird. Come on. Come on, Cameron. Come on. I beg. Like, was it, is it focusing on this down here? Is it focusing on the, the numbers on the mouse pad? What is it focusing on exactly? There's only one thing to focus on on the screen. Look at it. Like, what is it doing? difficult at all. There's there's one thing on the screen. I'm gonna ruin the pack if I do this anymore. Okay. Well we'll just open it all the way down here, shall we? That way it's focused. Dambala. Wind. Duplicate obviously. Aerial. We have Under Golem, Titan of a Dog, which makes complete sense. We have Bone Lasher, Deploy Agent. This is the important one here. It's Thresher. Okay, not ideal. And Faeon is the rare, which, as I said, I already have. 
That was a horrible pack. We're not getting very lucky right now, but you know the luck is is accumulating. It's like it's like um, I don't know. What it's like basically the more packs you open that have bad cards in, the more likely it is that the next pack has good card in. You know, we've had three packs now in a row that have had just commons and a rare. So logically, the last two packs, the luck is all in those two packs. You see, that's why I put them in this particular order because I told you the legendary was in one of the last two packs, because they're, they're slightly heavier, those last two packs, I'm telling you. I'm able to, uh, I'm able to tell, you see. My, my hands are like weighing scales, they're very, very precise. See, so you will see that the, the legendary, I, I saved it so that I could put everyone on edge. Dog only invokes Titans because the Professor and the Mind Controller are Akinos. True, but he also, um... He also invokes them in season two after Arachnos and the Professor have been banished to the. Um, they've been banished to Huntic. He's still able to uh, to invoke them because he's somehow still under mind control, which doesn't really make sense, to be honest. Uh, but it is what it is. Big Ethan the dog guarding the castle, of course. Because all of the um, all of the suits are no longer under the mind control of the professor, I'm pretty sure. So I don't understand why the dog is. Okay, I don't know if that's a good card or not. I think it's a duplicate. One, two, three, four. Let's. Uh, uh, the mental control isn't gone when Arachnos is gone. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure it is. Like he doesn't control the um, the suits anymore. The mind control goes from the suits, I'm pretty sure. We have Light Burst. Aerial. Klaus. Atlantean Gate, I'm pretty sure that's a duplicate. Shinobi. Chain Golem. Deploy Agent. The suits are st I don't know if they are or not. Deploy Agent and the big card is... Tursley. Ters Fine, all the, all the looks in the final pack. Kill Fain, Duplica. Okay, that's that's cool. Another card with a bad back to it, but whatever. It's fine. I'm, I'm not mad at all, you know, at the fact that we've only had three new cards out of the ten we need so far. If we don't get all ten, I'm going to be... <clears throat> not the happiest, I'm not going to lie. Like, two boxes should be enough to get uh, every card, realistically. Especially when there's only 100 unique cards and there's 200 cards in each box. Um, well, that's all those going there. We need more sleeves. My bin is just full of empty packs now that I've opened. Okay. Three sleeves, perfect. Right, so it's all on the last pack now. I can't lie. Whoever whoever put points on yes, it's not looking good. It does only take one pack, but although we haven't had a single super rare yet. Um well we've had we've had super rares, but not from these packs, so the final pack, in theory, has all the luck in it. This is the pack that has the luck. The pack with the best card in is this pack. Because it can't be any worse than the other the other four packs. Like, that's just a fact. There has to be the exact same number of commons and a rare at minimum. So therefore, it can only be a good pack, by definition. The question is, how good will it be? One, two... Three, four. Oh, that was a token card. I thought I ruined it for a second. It's a token card, though. I forgot they're green in this set. Right. We have Power Drain. I thought I ruined it because I saw the green and I was like, wait, that's a legendary, but it's, it's just a token. Come on. Like, why is it focused all the way down here? There's nothing down there to focus on. There we go. Power Drain. 
Pal Morg, that's the token card that's green on the back. Suit, yeah, look. It's the, uh, it's the debate card that makes you think you got something good. We have Sabriel. Uh, duplicates, obviously, so far. Fireball charge. Rasimov. I'm starting to believe that uh, Tian is not a common card. Because we haven't had her at all. Kabuki, right, this is the card right here. If it's a legendary, then the yes predictors win. If it's a not a legendary, then the no predictors win, essentially. We have... Oh my word, okay. Well, it's not a legendary, but it's an amazing card. Suit Miss Moon, and the final card is Stone Glove. Oh, I see why this is considered an ultra rare now. This card's beautiful. Isn't yes, it is new OP. I will, uh, I will show you it right here in a second. Let me just sleeve it first. Right. So the reason this card's an ultra rare, or it's it's definitely better than super rare, is. The literal whole card is hollow. It is a beautiful card. You see that? Oh my god. This is this has to be the most unique card of any card I've seen. It's got like um see this stamp here? It's uh which is like the symbol of the the suit. It's all over the card. Holy smoke, that's such a nice card. That is literally the most unique card in the whole in the whole set. And that's the first time I got it. It's red back. Um, is there any damage to it? It looks great. It's a symbol. Yeah, I, I knew it was some sort of uh, evil symbol. <laughs> that is perfect. Right. Okay, let's uh, tick her off the list. I had her down as super rare. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna change it to ultra rare. Because it's definitely better than Super Rare. It's a beautiful card. Right, let's uh, let's leave everything that we have. So it's Ultra Rare indeed. I would say it is, yeah. Because the whole card is um, the whole card is hollow. Whereas with a uh, with any other type of rares, uh, you don't get the whole card being hollow. You just get parts of it that are hollow. So I would agree. The wiki was actually right for once, um, and they had the right rarity. I didn't realise it was so different to all the other cards, that was that's a really nice card. Really nice card indeed. Let me sleeve all these cards real quick, you'll have to give me a minute. Um, oh, I, actually, while, while we're waiting, let me... Um, obviously no one. There wasn't a legendary. There was, uh, there was a rare, an ultra rare, but it wasn't a legendary. And um, we can do the prediction again for the next five, I guess. Will we get legendary in the next five packs? Simple as that. Same same question again. We have five more packs. I will show them in a second while the prediction is ongoing, obviously. Uh, and the question is just whether or not we'll get a legendary again. It's, it's a simple question. We haven't had one yet. We're, we're 10 packs in out of 25, and we haven't had one. So there is a good chance that we will get one, I would say. Because we had three in the last box, and we haven't had one yet. So I would say there's a, a relatively high chance we get one. At least one at some point. If we don't get a single one, it'd be kind of mad. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> OP has gone with no. It's 7k on no. My god. Voting no every single prediction we do. Uh, we need we need someone to, to bet on yes, obviously, and then we will uh, we will see. I still got 20k. Jesus, you're making a lot of points from uh, from from just guessing no every time, pretty much. <laughs> okay, 40 points. Uh, 40 points on yes from Stan. Who's gonna make bank if we do get one? <laughs> um. Also, uh, I see uh, Deadwire's in here. If uh, if you want me to unmod you so you can can bet, just let me know, and I'll, I can uh, I can demod you so that you can bet. Because obviously, for some reason, mods can't bet on these. Obviously, I got to wear the packs real quick just to check which one has the legendary in it. Okay, 
okay, okay. Ooh. Ooh, it's this. This pack here is the legendary for sure. So we'll, we'll save it to last as always. Right, five more packs. Let's, uh, let's see if the prediction will, will come true or not. It's funny because OP literally only wins like, he wins like 20 points if he's right. <laughs> the whole life was a no. Uh, just ask, uh, one moment in my life, no is a good thing. Was that even English? <laughs> There we go. Sorry. Sometimes, sometimes I swear people type stuff and I read it and I'm like, that is, there's no way that is English. Some stuff people write sometimes is just incomprehensible. Right. One, two, three, four, to the front. Get rid of the card. This clicks go brr, true. Right. Come on camera, I believe. It has to be to do with, uh, with this stupid... Is there a way I can cover this up? <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. There we go, now it's gone. Isn't that uh, a crazy, crazy concept? Focus. How is it focusing on a fucking table over a, a piece of text? That's the whole point of a camera, is you're supposed to focus. Oh, please, man. Like, it's actually having a laugh at this point. There is no way it's focusing on a table over some text. Like, what is it doing? There we go. Organized force, aerial, freelancer. We have another suit card. There's, I think, three suits in this set. Oh, well, four if you include Zalia, actually. Mercenary Recruit, Send Backup, Scarlet. Next card is the important card, obviously. And... It's Under Golem Common, unfortunately. And the final card is... Guybolg. Full duplicate pack again. We have, uh, we have not been getting lucky with these... with these cards, that's for sure. Should have enough sleeves to sleeve all of these still. Yeah, I should be able to sleeve everything for the next five or six packs at least. I'm trying to do a bit of mental math to calculate like uh, roughly how many packs I need to stop sleeving at. Probably about eight or seven. No, oh, I was one sleeve short, look at that. I already, I think I already put Guy Ball into the, uh... Yeah, I already put them into the other pile. Cool. Right, pack number two. Out of, uh... Out of five. There's uh, quite a lot of channel points on the line here. There, If there's a legendary in here, then, um... Stan gets, gets a lot of channel points. A hell of a lot. I think it's like 20k or something, almost. This one like this. We're currently still missing, by the way. Three commons, two rares, a super rare, and an ultra rare. According to uh, according to my spreadsheet, uh, you can get Ash right. She appeared at season one. Uh, this better not be bait, but but who is Ash? If it's a bait name, I swear. I don't remember an Ash. In season one, but maybe I'm just done. We have Chill Skin, Atlantean Gate, Cherit, The Professor, obviously when he was a bit slimmer, The Sand Girl. I actually don't know who that is off the top of my head. Um, I don't think you can. Bone Lasher, Hydro Lash. We have Spiral Bishop. And this is the card right here that could be the good one, obviously. It's Tian, okay, so it's mislabeled. 
On the wiki, this is considered a common card when it's actually a super rare. No wonder I didn't get it in my last box. Well, that needs to be fixed. And the rare is... Jakul Duplicate. No wonder I didn't get Tian in my last box. Wait, she might be... I can't tell if she's super rare or ultra rare. The whole card is hollow. Let me see, but... Uh, wrong kind of sleeve. We want the other kind of sleeve. Yeah, look at that. That's a hollow ass card. No wonder we didn't get it. We need, we need to, uh, to fix the wiki for that. Um, I'm not seeing any issues with the card. It looks perfect, which is uh, just a good sign. Yeah, can't see anything wrong with it. We will uh, tick her off the list real quick. Uh, she is. Right here, listed as common. Put a little fix next to that just to make sure I fix it. Um, okay, so we're now missing two common, two rare, one super rare, one ultra rare. Obviously the rarities are a little bit off. But that's what we're missing, roughly. We've got a Jakul duplicate there as well, which is like the fourth Jakul I have, but it's cool. Um, I think the commons we're missing, one of them's a mission card and another one is Metz, who I have listed as a common even though he's not necessarily a common, it doesn't say what his rarity is really on the wiki. Um, in fact, if you give me a second I'll show you, I can show you a picture of every card we're missing. Um, right, so, I think... Go. Behemoth, we still need him, he's the rarest card that we're missing. Lock Lambert, we still need, supposedly he's a rare card, I'm not sure if that's true. Um, Tian, we have, definitely not a common card. Defoe, we got. Suits Alia, we got. Killfern, we've got. We're still missing Met, again, his rarity's not even labelled, he could be any rarity. We'll have to wait and see when we get him. Um, we, uh, we haven't got Earth Rift yet, interestingly. Again, labelled as a rare, one of the cards we're missing. Galahad Statue we still need, uh, which is a mission card. We got Ghost Trap already, uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. We're, we're halfway there. We're not halfway through the packs, but... In fact, we just about are halfway through the packs, actually. And we're also halfway on the... Uh, brain, brain, brain. brain. Halfway through the packs, halfway through the cards that we needed to um, to get, which is good. Go for the next pack. Obviously, there's still channel points on the line here, so if there's a legendary within these next three packs, the uh, the Nopers are going to be losing a lot of points, and Stan is going to end up with a lot of points. <laughs> And it's approximately 20k, so it's not uh, it's not cheap. 20k points is quite a lot. Come on, uh, come come on, there we go. We have Chillskin. We have Zalia, but not the good version. We have Sabriel. We have Ash. Oh, is this the Ash you meant? I thought you meant Ash as in an actual person, not Ash as in the the Titan. Presumably this is the, the Ash you were talking about. Uh, we have Kratok, Defoe's Titan. Very uh, very strong Titan, actually. Very underrated. Uh, it's a shame Defoe is just useless. We have Sandstorm. Durable. Next card is the, uh, is the one that's important, obviously. Ghost War. Super rare spell card. Very cool. Duplicate, obviously, but still cool to get nonetheless. And the final card is... <laughs> Bro, I shit you not, I have like six of these, and we've only opened like 30 of this packs from this set. I have like six of this guy. I'm not even joking. I have way too many Sekhmets. It's not even funny. I don't know why, like, the dude is a rare holo card, but he is he's in every pack. Still two good, two good cards from the pack. One super rare, 
and uh, one regular rare, which is not even that rare, let's be honest. And then obviously the, the seven common cards which you get in, in every pack. But hey, as long as I'm getting super rares in every pack, I wouldn't complain. Ideally, from these these last 12 packs, we get, if I, like, ideally we get Behemoth. Um, any duplicate legendaries, or duplicate Zalia, um, or an maybe another Ethan Lambert duplicate. Just, just anything really good that's a duplicate, essentially. <laughs> you know, logically. Right, these lot can go in the duplicates box. Right, two more packs to go for the uh, prediction. As I said, 20k, 20k going to stand if, uh, if there's a legendary in these next two packs. How we haven't got a legendary yet and we're over halfway through the packs, I'll never know. I'm starting to just think our first box was insanely lucky. One, two, three, four. Front, get rid of this. Flip, we have Azalea Moon, no surprise. Common, obviously. We have Guggenheim. Very cool card. We have Ash. We have Power Drain. Audrey 2. Fireball Charge. Tersley. And the important card is Common and Natural Enhancement. Okay, it's a bad pack. And the rare card, come on, just gimme give gimme give Mets. I'll take a Mets. Um or a lock on, but. Scarabees, okay. I don't think we've got many of this card, actually. Pretty cool card, obviously turns into uh, a Nubian. A bit closer to that. Nice and, uh, nice and shiny. Turns into a Nubian, cool golden uh, Scarab. Um, there's a pretty bad mark on the back there on the left. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. A lot of the cards in this box uh, pretty badly marked for some strange reason, so um, presumably it's just the way they were manufactured. That's what it seems like. Eh? Anyway, it seems to be all the all the evil hollows uh, for some strange reason that have really bad left sides to them on the back. Probably to do with the way they were, uh, they were cut out or something from the machine. Okay, that is one pack left, so it's looking good for the uh, the doubters yet again, but it's a question of whether you trust my weighing skills, because as I said, this is the heaviest pack of the lot, so it's going to be the best one, because I always predict the best packs, you see. It's not going to be a bad pack, that's for sure. Let's see, uh, let's see if I was correct again, because I think last time, the last pack was Zalia, was it not? I'm pretty pretty certain that the last time I put a pack to the back was the Suit Zalia card. Which we all know is definitely heavy, heavier than every other card. So I was obviously correct. Right, so let's see. We have Ufizi. We have Wind. I, I like Wind, he's a, he's a pretty cool character, I can't lie. We have Spirit Jar. I'm pretty sure we already have that, obviously. Stone Sage. Momax. My desk is making these cards spin. We have Trap V Star. Kabuki, this is the important card right here. All the channel points are, uh, are on what this next card is. If it's a legendary, then uh, yes wins. If it's not, then no wins. Let's see what it is. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's Ultra Rare Shauna, which is still pretty cool. Pretty, uh, pretty cool card. But unfortunately, it is not legendary. And the final card is Dervish again. Jesus. Let me uh, let me power the charm points. Obviously, no wins, unfortunately, yet again. I will do the prediction again, though. Dervish Pog. Dervish is pretty cool. That's like the fourth one we've got, though. I've restarted the prediction, by the way. If you want to put your channel points on, this is actually the first one I've had where the left side hasn't been really scuffed. So that actually is pretty fog, because every time I've gotten him before, his left side's been really bad. And Sean is really cool as well, let me check uh, the quality on that. 
Yeah, the shoulder card is really nice. Yeah, it's only the second one of these I've got, so first time I've got her as a duplicate. He appeared the same time as Ash, what Dervish did, really. Interesting. I suppose that makes sense if uh, they're both titans of the same person. I can put them both into the pile for duplicates. Very cool. Oh god, everyone's gone no again. Uh, it's just OP betting on no every time. King Basilisk, put your, put your channel points on yes. You gotta believe, we haven't had a single legendary yet and we've only got 10 packs left. We need someone to believe. I think Wind is the second strongest seeker. Um, I mean he's pretty strong, that's for sure. I don't know, compared to the others. I just think uh, Shakrit is really good, which is obviously his only titan. He's just really, really strong. Um, yeah, essentially. But he, he's pretty OP at the fact he doesn't have to speak. He can just cast spells without speaking. It's a pretty, pretty good uh, thing to have. Oh, we got three K on yes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So we have another five packs. We've got four, four Shauna's and one Wind. Which makes sense because we've had a lot of uh, wind packs so far and it's probably a 50-50 split. But the Betrayer, yeah the Betrayer is, I mean the Betrayer is strong but at the same time uh, it's got one major flaw which is his back. I think Rasimov's probably the strongest in my opinion though. Right, um, I'm assuming the prediction has finished. Okay, so we got OP and Lewis going for no, and King Basilisk and presumably Stan going on yes. There's there's two people on yes, two people on no. The Org is killing it. It's, it's not that bad, Lewis. It's pretty good going, I thought. It's just like the M16. I quite enjoyed using it, personally. Plus, Lewis, like, you're going to be fine, because as of tonight, you'll have double XP. Which is kind of why I'm waiting to do the crossbow, because I'm going to wait till double XP starts tomorrow before I do it. Um, because it'll just be so much quicker for me. Okay. Even though I do have like 20 tokens, which I could probably use, which would also work. Um, but I, I never, like, I, that's the problem with tokens for me in games that last like certain amounts of time. I never ever use them. I have about 30 double XP tokens and I haven't used a single one. Hidden Passage, do we have that already? We do, we're only missing Galahad's statue. I just have to check. We have Zalia Moon. Probably Lewis, yeah. I mean, I'm surprised you don't have a variant of it. But... So if you cast a will, another suit. We have the Professor, back before he got fat. Momax. A natural enhancement, right? This is the import important. Uh, I talk in English. I think a little bit, Lewis. I think um, they don't give as much as they're supposed to. Uh, Dante, Wind, Rasimov, Keo, maybe Klaus. Oh, you're like ordering how good they are. Can fly. Unique powers. Legendary Titan. Bro, his legendary Titan is crap. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Whereas Rasimov probably has one of the best legendary Titans. They just like they're just like shit, guys. We can't kill it. Let's just uh, blow up the amulet. That's a good idea. Uh, and the good card is a common suit. How sad. And the rare scarabees again. Okay, this is taking the piss at this point. Come on now. Come on now. Do I have enough sleeves? Right, I don't think I'm gonna sleeve anymore unless they're rare cards. Um, because I don't think I have enough sleeves. But I will sleeve all these cards when my when the rest of my sleeves arrive, don't worry. They will eventually get sleeved. Just not right now, because I don't have enough sleeves. So. Which will make opening these packs quite a bit quicker. Uh, Trails back to five. Dude can fly, but you know. I just don't think his legendary is very good, personally. I think Locke is probably one of the most underrated ones. In terms of powerful, like, the dude power bonded with a legendary titan. He also has the most power bonded titans out of anyone, even though um, dude's like 15 years old and a complete beginner seeker. Whereas Dante can only power bond with one titan that he's had his whole entire life since he was like seven.
hidden passage again. I don't know if you managed that night, and now he's back to zero. Great game. Yeah, Lewis, you can't quit the games. If you quit the games, then uh, it doesn't count. You have to play the full games. That's why it takes so long. Uh, we have wind, very cool. Santiago, light burst, unnatural enhancement, spiral bishop, chain golem, and the important card is. Oh, let's go! Let's fucking go! Behemoth, legendary titan of body. I win, you do win, Stan. And the final card is Fail and Duplicate. Okay, now I'm happy. Easy points. Season 1 lock is 15, season 2 16. Yeah, and the dude power bonds with one, two, like three titans. One of them's legendary. Power bonds with Lindom. He power bonds with um, Base Lad. Although you could argue he only power bonds with them because his father, like him and his father, both bonded with them and they're related. I'm assuming that's the only reason he was able to power bond with them. That is a sick card. Let me see if there's any. Nah, it looks perfectly fine. The only slight, tiny, tiny issue I can see, you can't even see it on the camera, it's such a small issue. There's a tiny white dot in the top corner here, but you can't even see it. If the camera would focus, you'd probably be able to see it though. Yeah, you can see it now. There's a tiny white dot right here. But apart from that, that's it. That is beautiful. Okay, so we will choose the outcome. Yes was correct for once. Congratulations to the uh, the believers. As always, um, right, let's put Feon away. Let's get rid of the commons. We'll stack them with all the other common cards. And let's go to the, the spreadsheet. Let's cross it off. Behemoth. And if we tab, we'll get rid of Behemoth here. So we're missing Lock Lambert. Mets, Earth Rift, and Galahad statue. We're missing four cards. Four cards. Four more. All right now, I have eight packs left. As you can, as you can see, we have eight more packs. So how do I do this? Two sets of four, or one set of eight? One set of eight is a more risky bet, I think. Two sets of four is very unlikely. This cannot be. Or I could do two sets of four with the condition of getting a new card that I don't have. Um, okay, I've got an idea. We have eight packs left. We need four more cards. I think. I don't know how the math is off on that. One, two, three, four, five. How are we missing five? 15, 16, 35, 36. Okay, I fixed it, I fixed it. We're gonna do, and this is a really risky prediction, but we're gonna do it anyway. Um, Keyboard is so delayed sometimes, it's actually ridiculous. Fuck. 
Okay, so the question is, we'll give it, we'll give it two minutes as well. Will I be able to complete the set of my collection? Essentially, from these eight packs, will I get the last four cards that I need? Again, I will, I will show you the last four cards that we need. Is why can't I switch between the tabs? Because my keyboard's dog shit. That's why. Loth Lambert, Mets, Earth Rift, Galhad statue. Uh, those are the four cards we're missing right now. We have eight packs. Will I complete the? Uh, will I get those last four cards in these last eight packs? That's the question. Yes or no? I think it's a difficult one to predict. In all honesty. You already predicted. Oh, you predicted no. Okay. I think it's the first time you've predicted no. In all honesty, three people have gone for no. Oh my god. Op put twenty k on no. Jesus. No, no one believes. Everyone's against me. You put thirty k. Oh my word. You're not wrong. I guess that's not uh, that's not a great prediction, is it? Everyone's going to vote for no. Um, I mean, hey, technically, if one person puts like ten points, even if you put ten points on yes, you can win. You can win like fifty k if you're right. So this pack is slightly discolored from the rest as well, which is really weird. I don't know why that is. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's it's a slightly different color from these two. You can definitely tell, I feel like. If it was Legendary on new card, I would say yes. Do you want me to change the prediction then? Because I think it is it is probably fairly unlikely that we get everything we need. Um, okay. So now it is, will I get a Legendary in the last eight? Bearing in mind, last box. I got three legendaries. So far we've only had one. And we still have eight packs to go. So in theory we should get two from these last eight packs. Uh, according to uh, according to the laws of probability, I don't know. I'm gonna save the funny looking pack for last, just in case. So this, this is pack uh, one of eight. I'll obviously, I'll wait for the uh, the prediction timer to go down a bit and for everyone to predict. I don't want to open the pack and it happens to be a legendary. Uh, you will get a new card at least. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably get one new card. Uh, but you know, the question was whether I'll get all of them and the fact you've said no has made me sad. I would rather get all four, four of the cards I need than one legendary. Mets maybe is. Do you know if Mets is a? I'm assuming he's at least a rare. Lockett says he's a rare, but I got a feeling he's a super rare. Right, I'm gonna start opening the pack because the timer's uh, almost almost out. But I won't reveal the card until the timer or the prediction is finished. Obviously, otherwise that would uh, be unfair for anyone that has held back on their predictions, they could predict last second and get a guaranteed correct answer. Great job, me. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. Get rid of the crap card. Prediction is over, perfect timing. We have Santiago. Like, just focus, there we go. We have Spirit Jar Duplicate, we have Professor Enderby. Predicted 20k, damn. Oh yeah, he did, wow. Trap Feaster, Tersley. Sandbacker. Audrey 2, this is the, imp oh that was the important card, I'm done. <laughs> Last card's Klaus, we already have him. 
Um, that's not the best looking Klaus either. Man just said no. <laughs> nah, th there's got to be a legendary in these last eight packs. There's no way. It's actually twenty thousand eighty-four. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. He, he bet even more than twenty uh, k. Right. I mean, I think I ruined one of the cards there. It doesn't really matter because we have all the commons already. Actually, no, we need two commons. There's no way we need two commons still. What are the two commons we need according to my thing? Oh, apparently I've listed Mets as a common, but there's zero chance he's a common because we would have had him by now. I think we have uh, we can safely say we've had every common. Right. Let's see, we have Stop Glue. Ash. Klaus. Ufizi. Seeker's Resolve. Thrasher. Rasimov, and then the important card right here, that's Ash, yeah, 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 I mentioned that earlier. I, I thought you were talking about a person, not a titan, that was my problem. Come on, focus up again, camera. There we go. And card number seven is... New Fury, ultra, not ultra, super rare, spell card, duplicate though. And a Sekhmet again, you're taking the piss, man. Get out my packs. I don't want another Sekhmet. Please. <laughs> I like Ash. Ash is a pretty cool Titan. One of the weaker ones, obviously. Right, that is... I mean, it's a, a super rare and a rare, so it's not terrible. But there's been better. The best part is, I, even if I get a Legendary now, it doesn't even matter which one it is, it's a duplicate. So, I'll take any of them. Right. Don't worry about the green. That's just a token card. It's not a. Uh, it's not a legendary. Because for some reason they made tokens green in this box. We have Santiago, Klaus, Carrot, Suit, Bone Lasher, Clone Mask, Kabuki. And next card's the important one for the super rare. Let's see what it is. It's duplicate under golden common. And the final card, the Mets. Hope Shatter, great. Well, it's the first time we've got that today, but it is a duplicate. How do we still need four more cards? Come on, game. I mean, the, the only common we're missing now is a mission card, and the chances of getting that are just, just RNG, realistically. Oh, and I dropped one of the cards. Good job, me. What's the status of Meta Golem? There's only one Meta Golem, and it's not in this set. There's, a, there's an Under Golem, if that's what you mean. 4-4. Four, four. But the Meta Golem's only in set 1, um, and I don't know what his stats are off the top of my head. Right. We still have five packs left, so don't don't you fret. Do not worry. There is still a good chance that we have uh, what we need. Five packs. We need four new cards. What are the odds? Probably pretty low. But if you don't believe in yourself, then it's never going to happen. But believe, and I I believe that we'll get what we need. Two, three. I've never seen Mystic Runes before, so I'm hoping that is the last common card we're missing, which is Galahad Statue. Let's go, that's a new card. Freelancer, Soulburn, Terrapede, Shinobi. Next card's the important one, obviously. We have Shikrit. Second time I've got him. Super rare card, very cool. Very, very powerful. Final card is Feather Drop. Okay, uh, it's a pretty good pack. Uh, it's a pretty good pack. Galahad's statue, I will take that. I'm sweating. Oh, did, what, did you, what did you predict, Stan? I, I'm, 
like I, I'm assuming you predicted no, because there's only there's only one of the person. He ate me. What Shakri ate King Basilisk? You mean? He's a very very good card. Very good quality this one as well. There's no there's no like um, scuffs on it or anything, which is good. Okay, and then we got all the commons, which I would sleeve if I had enough sleeves, but I don't think I do. Four packs left. Um, let me we'll go to this real quick. Where's it at? Here it is. Galahad statue, right? We're missing, it says one common, two rare, but I got a feeling that Locke is probably super rare. Metz is at least rare. And Earth Rift, we'll have to wait and see when we get it. Um, four packs left, by the way, for those for those on the edge of their seats. Please, legendary. Hey, I hope for a legendary two, man. If I open every pack in this box, which was 25, because there was one extra, and I don't get a legendary, I will be uh, I will be very very sad. Very, very sad if I only get one legendary. Although I did say if it if the only legendary I get is the one I need, then I'm not going to be mad. So I wouldn't be like completely disappointed with it because and I have them all. But one from 24 packs is pretty unlucky, I think. Right, let's flip. Um, none of the commons really matter anymore. Freelancer, we have Ash. Great talk. Can we get a focus? There we go. We have Hydra Lash. We have Terrapede. Next card is the important one, as I always say. It's Shauna Duplicate again. Jesus. And the rare is Caliban. Okay, we, we already have him. Eight attack. Jesus Christ. Relax, bro. Why does he have eight attack? He's good, but is he that good, really? It's pretty cool. We got the, uh, the Shauna, which is super rare. And the Caliban, which is just normal rare. It's a very cool sunset sunset art on the card. And see, even the, the Shauna's a bit scuffed there. Bit of a white scuff on it, you probably can't see it very well. Or oh, was that the Caliban? That was the Caliban that scuffed us over the Shauna. Wow. Okay. Those are added to the to the collection. I will um, collect up all the commons and add them to the pile. We should have enough sleeves for the last three packs, hopefully. Right, three packs left. We still need a legendary. <laughs> hey, I, I'd rather have the three cards I don't have though, but I don't even know if that's possible. Because they could all be rare. Oh, ow, my ears. They could all be rare cards, which means it'd be very difficult to get them all in the last three packs. Right, one, two, three, four. Come on. Give me the cards I need. We have Enderby, Duplicate, obviously. Guggenheim. Uh, Page Might. We have Typhoon Bind. Mercenary Recruit, Soulburn, Thornman, this is the important card right here, it's Ethan Lambert again, Jesus, that's the second one we've got, and Guyball, you're kidding me man, you're killing me here, I haven't had uh... these last couple cards that I need. Like. I, I guess I'm just really unlucky. I'm missing three cards still. Right, two packs left. Give me the last three cards that I need and I'll be happy. Right. Could open the funny looking one first. I'll save the funny looking one for last. It's obviously a hint, you know. I don't know 
why my mum's speaking Spanish, but uh, hey. Okay. We're looking for three cards. That's all I'm asking for. One of three. It's not Spanish, is it not? Okay, well, it's something similar. <laughs> we have Last Edge. Ariel. Guggenheim. Suit, Boy Agent, Audrey 2, Professor. This is the important card right here. We have Scarlet Con. And the final card is Dervish again. Nice, that's just what I wanted for the 17th time. I love getting Dervish 20 times per pack. Right, well. Um, I think I have enough, yeah, I've got enough sleeves to sleeve this pack, so I'm going to sleeve this pack. Not that there's anything good in it, but I want to sleeve as much as I can, obviously. It comes down to the last pack. For the millionth time, because it always comes down to the last pack and it's never a legendary. Will I open a full box and only get one legendary? Or... Will I open a full box and get two legendaries? Either way, I mean, I'm going to be missing cards from the set. Um, at, at minimum, I'll be missing one card if I get really lucky in this next pack. If I get really unlucky, then I'm missing more than one card. The final pack. Funny colour. I see, OP, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guessed it was... Portuguese when you said it wasn't Spanish because they're both very similar. Right, last pack. It's the final one. Four cards to the front. First card is Ufizi. Will it be a legendary? Ooh. All the, for all the channel points right here. We're gonna we're gonna focus on the card, which is the only thing on the screen right now. There we go. The professor. Page might. Chill skin. Seeker's revenge. Resolve even. Spiral bishop. Bone lasher. This is the important card right here. Wait, did I forget to take the? I did forget to take the thing off the back, let me, ooh, let me not spoil, let me take the thing off the back real quick. I was going to say, I wonder why there's four cards left, right. Will it be a legendary, let's see. And, well, that's disappointing. And the final card is Caliban again, you are kidding me. There's no way. It's actually no way I've gotten that unlucky. That is, uh, that is very unfortunate. I'm actually kind of, kind of sad that I didn't get the last cards I needed. Um, okay, let me pile these up. Put these over here. Right. And if you give me two seconds real quick, I'm going to grab my book. Right. So, we don't have any SAS cards yet, so we still have a big empty, empty area. Let's uh, let's add these to the, the collection book, I guess. If that's the right word for it. We have Behemoth. Which means we have all three legendary titans for the set. Perfect. What am I doing? I'm in the wrong, um, the wrong set. 
That's LGS. Wrong set, wrong set. Whoops. <clears throat> That's awkward. Right, now we're in the right set. Behemoth. Part of um, Omens and Legacy's set. That was, uh, that was pretty bad. We're still missing number 11 here, which is Lock Lambert, unfortunately. We have number 16, Tian. Who goes right there. Very nice, very nice. We have number 19, which is Defoe. Goes right here. In the top left corner of the page. Perfect. We have Suit Zalia Mar. Mar, Jesus. Zalia Moon. I keep saying Zalia Mar for some reason. Zalia Moon. Perfect. Very nice card as well. Very cool pattern on it. Can't uh, really see it from this far away. But very cool pattern. Um, I'm starting to think Tian is actually an ultra rare. Because the whole card is hollow. Whereas every other every other hollow doesn't have the whole card hollow. We have number 41, Kilfin. Coming in. We don't have number 42 though. Which is what is number 42? Must be Mets, yeah. We're still missing Mets, sadly. Um, we didn't manage to kill the curse this time for Mets. The man uh, the man did not survive. And then we're missing Earth Rift here, which is number 84. And we do have, however, number 92, Galhad Statue. Perfect. And number 93, Ghost Trap. So now we have opened 40, well, 49 packs from this set. And we have managed to get every single card, but Earth Rift, Mets, uh, and Lock. Yeah, those are the only three we missed. And then the other set, we opened 90 packs. 99, no, not 19, 70, 70, 70. And we still missed 57. Um. Is that all we missed? Oh no, we missed one of the legendaries as well, of course. Of course we did. Uh, which was Behemoth. That's still the only Behemoth we have. And then, in terms of set one, obviously you can see we have the whole of set one right here. Um, yeah, I need to get more set one stuff, a lot more set one stuff on the way. Because um, we don't have any of set one yet. But the collection's coming along nicely. Uh, chances are I won't buy any more LGS or OAL packs, I'll probably just buy the last few cards on their own since I am only missing five cards in total from the two sets. Uh, but we will see. Whew. Right, I think I'm going to call it there. Um, very cool. A lot of, lot of duplicate cards, uh, which I need to do something about. I need to find uh, a way to, to sell them basically and get rid of them because we, we now have a lot cards. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to call it there for today. I appreciate you all uh, tuning in. The collection's come along nicely. Um, next plan is probably, I think Monday, I have the starters box for SAS, which has like 60 cards in it, um, which I might open on stream just for the fun of it. Stick all those in here. Um, and then I do have a box of SAS coming as well. I might order some another, another set. There's six, yeah, there's a lot of cards in SAS. They're going to be hard to get, so I might not get as many. I might open like two boxes and that's it. Because I think it's the hardest set to uh, to get. Um, so the chances are we'll miss out on a lot of them. Uh, but we, we will see. But yeah, I'm going to call it there. I'll um, probably be streaming again tomorrow. We will be playing um, Cold War again. I'm going to be leveling up the crossbow. Uh, up to max level, um, just for the for the fun of it. I've heard it's not very good, but um, yeah, I'll be using it, and I will uh, I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the the pack opening. Uh, I think we got pretty lucky. I'm pretty happy with the behemoth. As 
as much as I wanted to complete the set, I'm still happy getting um, getting the behemoth that we got. He looks very nice. Uh, I probably won't open any more OAL packs. Um, wait, I'm waiting, OP. Don't worry, the bet. Oh my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can uh, I can pay that out real quick. It was it was no correct. The answer was no. Yeah, there was no more legendaries in that last eight packs. There we go. I got you, don't worry, I got you, I got you. Um Yeah, I will uh I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye.